All right, today is Thursday. Hope everybody's enjoying it so far. I went to a 30,000 record sale, LP record sale, at a place formerly known as the Bible Book House. Kind of has like a barn look to it. Um, but it was advertised through the interwebs, and a friend of mine called me about it, and I had to search high and low to see if I could find it. It opened at 9 o'clock, and there were a number of people already there half an hour before. A couple of my friends showed up a little bit later. One was a little later than the other. And they had specific things they were looking for. Some people weren't looking for anything. Other people were panic mode and loading up at $3 a record. And then, of course, they were going through them. And it was easy enough to just probably end up at $100 right away before you knew it. And the double LPs and the box sets were $5. No one was buying the box sets. Not a single person, I think, was even buying a box set. But there was things like Richard Simmons and even a keep, people's keep pile. But a lot of people were looking for things like... Um, pop culture type stuff and and those things went fast um, but then you know, a lot of compilations didn't go very fast and DJ records didn't go very fast tons and tons of rap and I'll show you very quickly what I got here I got Ludacris disturbing the peace because he's a known quantity I don't know if this has any value I'm trying to look it up on eBay but the internet's kinda stuck right now and it was a two LP or two record set so I decided to grab that for five bucks they had about five copies all each copy was about the same condition so not much you can do about that and um, all very clean very practically mint looking so it was either played once or played never I got one record here uh, of Jaroslav checking in don't know who Jaroslav is uh, saxophonist it looks like uh, Columbia Records demonstration not for sale it's the kind of record you'd find at a Goodwill store and Nobody would pick it up because they don't want to take a chance on who the heck is Jaroslav on Columbia. So he's on Columbia, probably he was a little bit of a musician there. Then I just got a few more. I spent 20 bucks. Sandy Nelson, Best of the Beats. Most of the records were in plastic, so that was at least helpful there. Uh, these records smell quite old. Uh, this guy was not discriminate. He just picked up everything and anything. But there were very few 80s records. Nothing past, you know... Um, Probably 19, well, 2002 was the rap record, but nothing past that. Howard Jones, Dream Into Action, very, very common album with a mark on his face. I'm not sure if that's, I think that's part of the album, but it's got Things Can Only Get Better and No One Is to Blame. So I grabbed that one, one of the few 80s records that they had there. I got Good Old Summertime on Chancellor with a, um, a Fabian uh, teen star from the uh, 50s. And uh, there is Fabian himself again right there. So very popular album back then. He even had a Topps trading card set, if you could believe that. And then I got this Roulette Dynamic High Fidelity record of Jimmy Rogers, because that's just a classic cover with the awesome guitar and the obligatory cigarette and all that stuff. Very 50s greaser. That I just had to have that one. Not super valuable, but anyway. So there is that one. And I believe those are all the records I had. If I'm mistaken, I'll show them at the end of the video. Hope you enjoyed that, and thank you for watching.
Thank you.